You can't buy me love. Well, maybe you can't buy love, but apparently you can buy happiness, and that's pretty close to love, right? According to a recent NPR Harvard poll of the rich, 97% said they're not just simply happy. They're actually living the American dream. Now, the American dream, what, what is that? We hear that, and, and some people think, well, that's just America. No, it's so much bigger. It's having more, being more, doing more, regardless of where you are. So forget the word American. Just what is your dream? What do you want? Do you want more, have more, be more? Well, you know what? Money helps with that. And we're better to talk about money than City Banamax here in Mexico. And one of the privileges that I get in life as a podcaster, as a speaker, traveling around the world, is meeting celebrities. And I love to ask celebrities, what's the greatest lesson you've ever learned about money? And I love hearing their answers because you never know what they're going to say, right? So you read about celebrities in the news, and they have like the biggest disasters. And some of them make so much money, and they do stupid things like buying lions or theme parks or, or you know, buying a $100 million place and then tearing it down. So I love hearing their stories. But I have a question for you. Who in here would be curious to know, I mean, other than me, but who would be curious to know, according to a celebrity, what the secrets to wealth are? Anyone? No, like anyone? Like anyone? Y'all want to know the secrets to wealth? Yeah. Okay, good. So if you want to get the money, Here's what you got to do. M, it's time to make it happen. Ice-T told me, nobody wakes up with your dream. And the fact is, if you want to live the dream, you've got to make it happen. Nobody's going to make it happen but you. See, everybody else is out there living their own dream. So if you want to have it, you got to make it happen. In fact, in fact, I've often heard it said that if you won't chase your dream... Somebody will hire you to chase theirs for them. Think about that. Oh, orate the words for me. Caitlyn Jenner said, you've got to be a great speaker and a great communicator. And when you are a great speaker, it's like robbing banks. If you want to get the money, you've got to learn to be a great speaker and a great talker. Because that's what the wealthy, they're great at speaking and communicating. Ends negotiation. And that's what Dog the Bounty Hunter said. He was like, when I'm out chasing the bounties and hunting down the bad guys, I don't always have to be aggressive and violent. I negotiate with them to surrender. And that's how I make the money. And the fact is, if you want to make money, and lots of money, you've got to learn to negotiate. First with yourself, that you're worth it but even more so with those others out there. He's extremely hard worker. That's what Martha Stewart told me. Because Martha said, every rich person that I've ever known has been an extremely hard worker. And the fact is, it's truth. You're not going to sit on your tail and make a bunch of money. You've got to be an extremely hard worker. It's a very common trait amongst the rich. Why? Because it's up to you. When I had the privilege of speaking at London Stock Exchange last summer and, and interviewing um, Nigel Farage, he's the guy that created Brexit, right? And I asked Nigel, Nigel, what's the greatest lesson you've learned about money? It was so funny, without skipping a beat, he says, you can lose it very quickly. <laughs> but then he also went on to say, you need to diversify and, you know, don't take yourself so seriously. Go, sometimes just go to the pub and drink a pint of beer. Good advice, by the way. Because the truth is, you know, the wealthy that I work with and ultra wealthy, those that I've interviewed, they, they do diversify their money. They don't put it all in one place in case the market goes berserk and they lose it all in one area. In fact, Warren Buffett says the number one rule to making money is don't lose any money. Pretty sound advice. And not only that, but the wealthy know how to just cut loose and have a good time. 
We can't take ourselves so seriously. So if that's going to the pub and getting a pint, or that's going to read a book, or just looking at the stars, or holding someone close that you love, we've got to have those moments where we are splitting off from the rest of life and just allowing ourselves to, to be who we are, want to be, to live the life that we want to live, to have the secrets of success. Because if you want to get the money, then this is what you've got to do to live your dream. 